Monsieur Barreau. The murderer is most probably a member of the Armstrong family. Yes, Dr. Constantine, it is a strong possibility. But we have found no direct connection with the family, apart from the Princess Dagomir. Who, in any case, would not have had the strength to deliver such a fatal blow. Mm. Which of the passengers have we not yet interviewed? Uh, Princess Dagomir's maid, Hildegard Schmidt, Miss Dabenham, which seems to interest you so much, and the Italian, Foscarelli. I think you interview the Italian. Very well, Monsieur Book. Since you are convinced that this is the kind of murder that only an excitable Latin could have committed, let us get it over with and talk to Signor Foscarelli. Of course I have been in America, many, many times. You see, I am an agent for the Forte Cars, so naturally I go to America. It was there that I discovered my natural genius for the salesmanship. Uh, Ernest Potter, you must have heard of him. He is very big in Detroit. He says it to me, Foscarelli, he says, in all of my born days. Yeah, in your many journeys to the United States, did you ever meet the murdered man, Mr. Ratchet? Never, but I know the title. Very respectable, very well addressed, but underneath it all, uh, something is wrong. Out of my experience, I should say he is a crook. I give you my opinion for what it is worth. You are quite right. Ratchet was Cassetti, the kidnapper. <laughs> what did I tell you? You remember the Armstrong case? No, I do not quite remember. It uh, was a little girl, was it not? A terrible thing. But even in a great civilization like America. Did you ever come across any members of the Armstrong family? I come across so many people. In a week I sell 20 or 30 cars, which means at least 30 or 40 people. I cannot remember every single one. Now tell me, if you please, your exact movements last night from dinner onwards. With pleasure. I stay here in the dining car as long as I can. I talk to the American gentleman up on my table. And Mr. Hardman. That's right. He sells a typewriter, I believe. It's just magic. And then I go back to my compartment. It is empty. The miserable English servant who shares it with me is away attending his master, the kidnapper. At last he comes back, pulling a long face as usual. He will not to talk. Simply says yes and no. The unmiserable race, the English. He, he sits in the corner very stiff and reads a woman's novel. Uh, then the conductor comes and makes our bed. Which was your birth? If you were on the top. I get up there, I smoke, I read. The little Englishman has, uh, I think, the toothache. He gets out a bottle of stuff that smells very strong. Presently, I sleep. Whenever I wake, I hear him groaning. Do you know if he left a compartment during the night? No, I do not think so. I would certainly have heard him. Did he ever speak of his master, Mr. Ratchet? But he never speak of anything. He is not a simpatico. He is a fish. Is that all? For the time being, yes. Thank you, Signor Foscarelli. Allora, good day to you, gentlemen. Huh. Well, my friend, what do you think of your principal suspect? I don't like him. He's a big man. Perhaps, but that does not make him a murderer. I do not think this is a Latin crime of passion. It is too far-sighted. It is a crime that shows traces of a cool, resourceful, deliberate brain. I think an Anglo-Saxon brain. Perhaps it is time that we saw the English governors, Miss Debenham.
I'm afraid I had nothing at all to tell you. I simply went to bed and slept. Does it distress you very much, mademoiselle, that a crime should have been committed on this train? I hadn't really thought about it from that point of view. No, I can't say that I'm at all distressed. You are very Anglo-Saxon, are you not, Miss Devenham? You do not make a show of the emotions. I don't see why I should put on a fit of hysterics to prove my sensibility. After all, people die every day. They die, yes. But murder is a little more unusual. Were you acquainted with the dead man? I saw him for the first time when taking lunch in here yesterday. And how did he strike you? I hardly noticed him. Did he impress you as an evil personality? <laughs> I can't really say that I thought about it. Mm. You are, I think, a little contemptuous of the way I go about my inquiries. This is not the way it would be conducted in England, you think? Seems a complete waste of time. Whether or not I like Mr. Ratchet's features does not seem to me likely to be helpful in finding out who killed him. Do you know who this Mr. Ratchet really was? 